The Regret of Old West Fastest Gunslinger, Wild Bill If you lived in the time of the Old West, you would agree how hard it is not to worry about your safety. In this lawless land, people always carry their guns, so a confrontation means death. But if you're quicker, then you're alive. However, Wild Bill claimed himself as the West's fastest gunslinger. So without further ado here, the story of regret of the fastest gunslinger, Wild Bill Hickok. Born from a family of farmers, he started his life in the vast fields of Illinois. He was young back then when his father died early for his suspected involvement in some vigilante group. Troubled by this event, the young Hickok left his home and started the journey of his legend. He had his first standoff at the age of 18. They pulled out their guns, then fired simultaneously. You won't believe that they both fell and mistakenly thought they had killed each other. Having survived that, Hickok moved to Kansas. He became a stagecoach driver, then a scout, and fought during the bleeding Kansas. At that time, he even met and befriended the young Buffalo Bill. Later on, he worked in the Pony Express, and his story started about this time. There was one occasion where he fought with a wild bear. He got wounded but claimed victory against an impossible foe. Also, around this time, an outlaw arrived in their office. This person got into a heated quarrel with Hickok and his boss. This person was David McCannells, a gang leader, robber, and notorious outlaw. While insulted and threatened, Hickok could not calm himself, so he shot McCannells and took his first kill. He was later on acquitted for he acted in self-defense. After that, Hickok went to Springfield and started his legend as a professional gambler and is the West's fastest gunslinger. As a gambler, Hickok got his first rival, a local named Davis Tut. It was that time when he lost big time in gambling. This cost him his sentimental gold watch, but Davis agreed not to wear it in public. Until one day in July that year, Davis broke his promise and led to the first recorded quick draw battle. 75 yards apart, both men draw their guns. Davis shot a miss while Hickok got him in the heart. Davis fell on his knees and as he took his last breath, he said, Boys, I'm killed. This incident established Hickok's fame as the fastest gunslinger at that time. His heyday continued. Hickok became the town marshal and reached the peak of his fame. He had several encounters with outlaws in those days where he outmatched them with his speed and marksmanship. Fate was on his side. But it was until the 5th of October. Phil Coey pointed his gun at Hickok and was about to shoot. He heard a shot fired and then his eyes became heavy. Before he collapsed, he realized Hickok had got him. Hickok was elated since he escaped death and killed his enemy. However, he noticed someone rushing behind him. Without ado, he carelessly shot his friend who came to aid him. This incident marked a bloody blemish not just to his reputation, but became his longing regret until the legendary Wild Bill met his tragic end. If you want to know more about the incredible stories of the Wild West, click the following links for more amazing videos.